Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. Um, I'm actually filming this video on Valentine's Day. Um, I was going to film this video last night, but I thought it would be it's a better idea if I do it today. Um, I have the house to myself, so I can say whatever I want to you guys without having my brother or sister questioning what I'm saying or my dad saying, well, what are you doing that for? And it's just easier if I do it when I'm alone. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so this is the letter to my past self from when I was a little fetus. Um, and I mean, I'm going back like, like baby, baby, like one, two years old. That's, that's, that's how far back I'm going. Um, I know a lot of people do a couple years back, like five years back, you know, when you were in junior high or high school and now you're out of high school, you're maybe in college, you're working, but, um, I'm going way back. So this might be a little while, but I'm going to try to not make it too long for you guys. Um, I was watching a video and I'm going to link the video down below. So you guys can go watch it too. Um, let me see where the video is. Hold on. Because I'm up on YouTube right now. I actually have you guys propped up on my um, my computer. Ooh, okay. So it's message to my past self with Elliot. And like I said, I'm going to link it down below. So you guys could go watch it. And then I'm also just going to link one more video from him on his other channel. Um, before he got really big into the Fosters and Shameless, he was making weekly videos on this YouTube channel. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. I know he says it every week when he makes these videos, but I still cannot pronounce it. It's like M. Baga Ambigoi, Ambigoi, and something like that. It's A M B I G U I T, and then guys. Um, I'm not too sure what that means. Um, I'm gonna Google it just to see because I really, really do not know what it means. Okay, so it's the quality of being open to more than one interpretation or inex inexactness. So it's pretty much a channel about people who are transgender and stuff like that. And they talk about their life and their updates and surgeries and, and stuff like that. And that's why he's on there because he is a trans man. So I could understand the name of it now, I guess. Um, but then he also has a video on his channel, Word Up Elliot, that talks more about trans youth and it, it had a lot to do with what Caitlyn Jenner was going through at the time and stuff like that. So I'm going to tag both of those videos down there. This is where I got <laughs> the idea to actually do this. Not because I'm trans, not because I'm coming out as trans, it has nothing to do with that. It just so happens that this is where the video inspiration came from. Um, I, I don't know if it had a lot to do with the fact that it was 1 o'clock in the morning and I was watching this video and all of my emotions came and I'm like crying and I'm like, oh, this poor kid, oh my lord. Um, I don't know. He's only two years younger than me, so it's not like it's, it's a mothering thing because I mean, that would be weird having a two-year-old baby, having a baby at two years old. Um, but, uh, so, okay, I'm gonna stop rambling now. Message to my past self. Girl, you're living. Okay. Um, you're not in New York anymore. You are on the country line. You're living in Pennsylvania. Um, trying to get serious here. Um... I know you thought that you were going to live in your grandparents' house till the day you move out as an adult. Um, I know that you were happy there. You were safe 
there financially mentally all that stuff but um it was time for you to move on um I know you keep asking yourself if years down the line if your mother's gonna get any better and she's not which is one of the main reasons why you moved out to Pennsylvania um kid you are in a lot of debt I can promise you that much um I'm sorry <laughs> I had to um you have a lot of student loans to pay off, but um, you finally did it, no matter what everybody told you, you did it. You went to cosmetology school, and you are studying to get your license. Um, everybody I know told you don't do it. You gotta be a doctor, a lawyer, or anything like that. And I know your your family thought that being a beautician, a hairdresser, was like the low of the low. But it's it's not. I can promise you it's not. And I could also promise you that, yeah, money's tight right now. But, um... You're, you're pocketing a little bit of paper there, I can promise you that. Um, if you were ever wondering if that first boyfriend of yours it was the one, I can promise you he wasn't. There was quite a few after him. Um, oh, by the way, you kind of have a thing for older guys. Um, yeah, so... Listen, stop looking at the little kid over there. It's not worth your time. Uh, <laughs> um, what else can I say? It'll get better, I promise. It takes time, it takes patience, but it will get better. Uh, you have a sister now. You have a brother now. Um, you had for quite some time now. Uh, yeah, you're you're gonna be raising them, by the way. Especially your sister. She's more like a daughter than a sister. Um, and I know you're probably if you can watch this video, if if you if you could. <laughs> It's not possible, but if you would, um, I know you would probably be saying, I don't want to be watching kids. I don't know. What are you doing? Stop. But, um, you have to. You just do. You have to suck it up and do it. And I can promise you, it'll make you a better person. Um... You are going to hit a rough patch um, around 14, 15 years old. You're going to be hospitalized. A suicide watch. Well, not for suicide watch, but you're going to be on suicide watch um, for a little while. But, um... As you can see, I'm still, I'm still living, still breathing. Um, you get through it. It's hard, but you do. Um, oh, and you're gonna hit a real rough patch with this one person. I'm not gonna name names. You will know who I'm talking about. And my best piece of advice is just, just end it. But no, I know how you are. I mean, you are me. I'm you. You're me. You don't just end it. You try to work it out. You try to fix it. Not a good idea. But you do. Um, 
what else can I say? It'll all work out in the end, I promise. I know you don't think it will. Trust me, I know you for for a very, very long, long time. You're going to think it doesn't work out. But it, it does. Oh, and you get a little bit of ink. You, you have like six tattoos now. <laughs> um, I know you thought you were never going to be able to have one. Um, you go through a lot of temporary tattoos. Spend a lot of money on those. But, uh, you, you get some real ink, I promise. I mean, you, you get to see it on me. I have some ink. Um. <clears throat> all I can say is it gets better. You will get to live your life. I know. From age 10 and up, you worry about that. You will get to live your life. You will get a car. You will get tattoos. You're going to dye your hair a lot. Yeah, you're going to be a rainbow. You have you have blue, green, pink. You've had every color under the sun. Um, but I guess that's also because of the whole love for makeup thing. But, um, yeah. So, little tiny fetus me. You'll be okay. I promise. It will. I'm living through it. And I love you. Bye, future me. Ooh, no, not future me. Oi, I hate that. I'm reading the word future me. Bye, the little, tiny, little son of a bitch you are. Just kidding. I love you. Bye, and happy Valentine's Day.